Uh, so we're starting a new unit. Uh, we are basically going to look at taking uh, a cube and cube root of numbers and shapes. So just to start, we want make sure we understand what a, what cubes and cubes roots are. For cubes, we are we measure we use cubes to measure volumes, and in general, we want to look at volume as taking an area. So if you take a look at this diagram here, we take the area of this square, which is what we use to measure area. We take the square area and give it some depth or some height, and we get a cube from that. So essentially, we to make a cube, we take the square area and extend it into the third dimension. So taking a look at these examples here, if I want to calculate the volumes of these cubes, well, I could do length times width times height. Okay, so if I do that, I get 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8 units cubed. Okay, so that is perfectly fine. But since these are symmetrical and they are a cube, well, cube, we can use something special. And cubes are not the same as multiplication. Just like squares are not multiplication, cubes are not multiplication. So although we could use multiplication, we could also use a cube. Okay, so 2 cubed also equals 8 units cubed. So what I would like you to do is take your calculator and try to find that button, the cube button. Okay, some of your calculators use something that looks like this, x to the power y button. Okay, and I want you to make sure that you're able to do that on a calculator. Okay, and it is the same as 2 times 2 times 2, but it is slightly different. It's a little bit more special than just multiplication. So the same thing can be done with 4.3 cubed. Okay, we could do 4.3 times 4.3 times 4.3, and that's equal to uh, whatever that's equal to. I'm not too sure. I don't have my calculator on me. I don't know why I don't have my calculator, but we can do multiply those together, or we can do 4.3 cubed. Okay, and that gives us the volume of that of that cube. Okay, so cubing is something. It, it although it is related to multiplication, it is not multiplication. When we cube something, the math now starts becoming different. Just like square math was different than multiplication math. And just like with squares, if we want to square something, we get area. But I can square root, and that goes from area to side length. So if I want to start with a volume, in this case 64 units cubed, and I want to figure out how long is each edge of this cube. Okay, well, I can't really divide because you know division is is not the same as cubes. So we can't undo cubes by dividing. But we what we can do is we can undo cubes by cube rooting. So I can take this 64, so the side length is equal to the cube root of 64. And some of us know how to do this in our heads. The answer is going to be 4. Okay, 4 units, and the, uh, 4 units of length. What I would like you to do is, on your calculator, I want you to make sure that you can find your cube root button. Okay, so you're going to find your cube root button and try this on your calculator. So we're going to do cube root 64 on your calculator. Some of you may have to do uh, cube root 64. Some of you may need to put in 64 first, then cube root it. But again, make sure you know how to do that on your calculator. So same thing that applies here. I have my volume of 30 cubes. Okay, the problem with this one is this is not a nice, perfect cube. We can't actually fit 30 full cubes into here. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to cube root it. And again, it is not division. We cannot divide to find the cube root. Okay, so we can't not going to divide to find the side length. We're going to find the side length by taking the cube root of 30. So I want you to try that on your calculator. 